slow. It's a little delayed. Okay. Conference call part two. This is a very interesting topic for everybody out there. And I know every lesbian has come across it in some shape or form. The topic is called Call Me Daddy. Girls who want to be daddy. Wait. <laughs> Alright, speak your mind. Speak your mind. I just feel like it's But what if it's like... And it's like me calling you daddy is embracing you as a male, and I'm not dating a male. I'm dating a chick. Somebody with two nice, beautiful breastfeds. Usually a D cup, D cup, nice and fine to me. You know, that's what I like. I'm not dating a daddy with no tits. That's fucking nasty. But what if it's a femme, or a feminine female, who wants you to call her daddy? I'm gonna look at her sideways like, you crazy, chick? Are you serious? No, because, alright. I feel like... It's harder to comprehend the daddy thing when it's coming from a stud because then it's like you looking at somebody who has a male persona and then you call him daddy, which is like reinforcing their masculinity. But if you have somebody who's clearly not masculine, I think it's hot. Oh, a little Spanish chick, call her Poppy. I think that's cute. That's hot. Okay, with the Spanish, with the Spanish chick is different because it's with the culture, it's sexy. With anybody else, it's not gonna work out for me. I'm gonna be like, um. No, but what if you're in the right mood? Like, what if Shirley got you in the mood and she's just like, oh, call me daddy? No? Nope, you're gonna turn me off. Yeah. Not so much. I think it depends on who it is. Like, I don't know. Like, I couldn't see myself calling nobody daddy just for the simple fact that um, I'm dumb. So that's weird to me. No. No comment from you. I'm talking to the people. <clears throat> anyway. She's a so bad. No, Sanaa Lathan. Whoa, let's talk about her. Sanaa Lathan is sexy. Gabrielle Union is okay without makeup. This is not the topic. The topic is definitely call me daddy, right? So imagine this, people. So you're talking to this chick, right? And then you're feeling her. And you think everything's cool. You like feminine chicks. She like feminine chicks. Everything is good to go. But then she calls you, leaves you a voicemail. Like, oh, hey, this is daddy. You know, just calling. Daddy misses you. Hit daddy up later. Does that kill your vibe? I have a son donut. And I know the fuck you is. <laughs> Keep it PG-13. Sorry. I don't know. It's a weird concept. It's complicated. It's got, if you putting it in like that for me to call you daddy, bless my heart. Bless your heart. Bless your mouth, your mother, your father, everybody who created you. But for the most part, it's yeah, it's not happening. I don't know, daddy. Maybe feel like I'm about to get a beating, and not in a good kinky way. I don't think it's it's sexy. I guess I'm boring. I don't like it. I'm a normal lesbian. So I'm not into all that shit. <laughs> oh yes. I, did you see that video? Lesbian Sam's J normal lesbian video. Go watch I don't it. Do fake I That's another topic, right? Strap ons. Right? The concept of like somebody um like penetrating you, whatever like that. Used to appeal to me. Not being the person receiving, but being the person giving because I like to be dumb, so I think it was cool. But then like as I Further to grasp the concept, it makes me feel like uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's. I th I realized that like after a lot of people took about, I've been doing some research that strap-ons and fake penises are definitely not really like made for lesbians. It's more like made for guys to watch girls sex each other. If that makes sense. Like to make us he have heterosexual sex, and that's spooky. Like, I, I love being a lesbian, so I'm not going to try to have heterosexual sex. So, all this research has ruined strap ones for me. And I'm just good without it. I think I'm, I'm really cocky, so. Strap that. But some girls wear it all the time. Like, pride. And, like, 
I thought it was a pride thing, but then I ran to some chicks who still be wearing strap like every day. Doesn't that put you in a tranny box? Like gender queer, like you gender queer. Like if you walk around with a strap on all the time, Don't that's penis trans. envy. Nope. Nope. I talk to all the time. Transgender, gender queer. That is not a lesbian. That is not a born female who wants to be a female. That is a born female who perhaps wants to be a male. Therefore, you want to have a penis and you don't like your tits. Therefore, I do not like you. Sorry, no offense. I need a woman who likes women. Oh yeah. <laughs> but what if they like um, pre-op? Like they haven't had surgery. Not so much because they're going to be talking about the fact that they want a penis and shit. And that is not what the hell I want to hear about. I want to hear about you loving your pussy and the reason why it's so beautiful and glorious. That is what I want to hear. <laughs> And on that note, we're going to call it a wrap. But you